A few days ago, we covered a topic on Rocksteady with Vera Dark uh, exposing a rumor going around over layoffs that will be probably coming down the line over the debacle for Suicide Squad losing $200 million for Warner Brothers. But now we have a one Jason Schreier, a ex-Kotaku employee, uh, working with Bloomberg running defense for this situation. Now, if you didn't check it out, we did a live stream. We actually covered quite a bit of topics. It was like over three hours I had myself, uh, the editor for Vera Dark's channel and DJ Longhair on that live stream. If you wanna check that out, I'll probably put it somewhere in here for you guys to check out. We went through a very extensive uh, thing on how diversity, inclusion, and equity is completely destroying these games and pretty much how Sweet Baby Inc. has taken over or the narrative designers have taken these things over. Bloomberg reporter claims Sweet Baby Inc. boycott that Crush Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League sales is angry hallucinations created by grifters. So Jason Schreier, he's a long time industry uh, pivot point, uh, worked for Kotaku at one point, had all of these conversations in secret with Rocksteady and the whole idea of Sweet Baby Inc. never came out up they don't know who they are but i bet you if you ask them well who's kim belair did you have a a situation where you had a talk at your company where everyone got brought into a room uh for the writers and they got to pick and choose what was there and who sat down in that room now if you look things up for suicide squad kill this justice league and you go into the playstation 5 credits all you gotta do is scroll all the way down on this particular website or you can play the game and get to the end of it which uh you know a lot of people don't want to and you can see where the writers are it might even be this is a very extensive list of people this is how many people worked on this game this is why their budget was blowing out of the market when you have more people working on a game than you have for the game to actually produce to so you have sweet baby inc writing you have writing and team leads team leads kim belair for writing of the game and jason schreier sits there and says that no they weren't even mentioned in it it's angry hallucinations schreier recently published an article for bloomberg claiming to reveal inside details about the failure of uh, suicide squad kill the justice league in his article he claims the game's 200 million dollar failure is due to constantly shifting vision a culture of rigid perfectivism and a genre pivot that was ill-suited for the studio. He also noted the game was plagued by countless delays. However, he makes no mention that Sweet Baby Inc. detected the curator list created by Kabutis has nearly 400,000 followers. The list is essentially a boycott list of all games Sweet Baby Inc. worked on that are available for purchase on Steam. The first game added to the list was Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League. And you know what? When you look at who worked on this game, you have all of sweet baby ink is all over it so the bloomberg article that jason schreier wrote completely admitting that the writers in the room were the reason why this game failed and that they were from sweet baby ink there it's hallucinations so up over on twitter is where these hallucinations that he found were uh he had posted his article the bloomberg article on twitter and you have a one justin here not to mention the woke turn off of fans or sbi influence and jason comes back with this article is about what actually happened uh so right uh, they didn't have any effect on the development and jason comes back i asked two dozen people who worked on the game what went wrong and not a single one mentioned the words sweet baby you're chasing angry hallucinations created by grifters who make money off your rage these writers they they don't exist this isn't the credits this isn't in the credits of the game these people don't exist as per jason schreier 
Chris Kindred is the person that started all of this situation with the Steam Curator group and saying it needs to be taken down, that the harassment campaign that was sparked out of all of this uh, it is absolutely horrific. It, it, it was so damning to have their resume listed online. Jason, they're listed in the credits of the game. They might not turn to you and say, oh yeah, we don't know who Sweet Baby Inc. is because look at all the people that worked on here. He talked to two dozen people. There is hundreds of people that worked on this game. So I guess from one department to the other, you didn't talk to any of the writers, you just talked to everyone else at the front of the building. What did you do? Talk to the security guard at the front of the building, talk to the receptionist and a couple other uh, um, marketing v VPs. Where is this? Why would you run defense for this when it's easily proven otherwise. So I got to say, one of the points here that Jason does write in his article, multiple people who worked on the project say the growing concerns were often met with promises from management that Suicide Squad would eventually coalesce at the last minute. Just as the Arkham games had, several employees adopted the term toxic positivity to describe the culture of the company, which discouraged criticism. Leadership didn't seem worried, they said, even as other traditional single player game studios had that chased the line and live service trend were delivering abysmal results with games such as Anthem, which earned a lowly score of 59 out of 100 on Metacritic and Marvel's Avengers 67 out of 100, Redfall, dreadfully Redfall 56 out of 100. Redfall, uh, the people that made Redfall, they're, they're gone as well. Despite the internal concerns among frontline workers, executives from Warner Brothers kept reviewing demonstrations of the game and sending a lottery feedback, praising the graphics and saying they expected Suicide Squad to become a billion dollar franchise. So what's going on here, Jason? Did, did you just omit Sweet Baby Inc.? in this entire debacle because you're blinded to them. You don't know they exist. You don't know they wrote in this game. You don't see the credits of the game. Or did your journalistic integrity at this point sit there and go, eh, they get a pass. They had nothing to do with it. It's all Warner Brothers fault why this game failed. The writers had nothing to do with it. It's the audience that is wrong. Anyway, I'm going to leave the video here. I'm your proud Canadian Phoenix Cinder Shadow. Don't forget to like and subscribe and do me a favor. Come back and watch again.